Okay, so I think I got the camera angle set right now. And what I decided that I'd do today is that I take my GoPro, put it on my forehead, and that I give y'all a first person POV of me doing my first ever teardown on this engine right here. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, I actually got over here, I don't know if you can see them, but the, go the, the spark plugs are real nice and clean and pardon if the camera angle is a little bit too far off I'm first time ever doing it like this but I don't know if you guys can tell it is I mean they're about what you'd expect for a junkyard engine so is what it is is what it is uh, I got my drinks I actually got over here a Blackstone Labs oil analysis kit for when we drain that with my oil pan over there. Uh, but I actually got in this bag all the bolts and stuff so far that I've taken out, including the starter bolts. Uh, I am going to get plastic bags to put all of that in, but you know, I don't know. Pardon if I'm rambling. I've never really done this kind of long form stuff before, so yeah, I've already got this off. The bolt stays in it and this is the holder for the back i've got the bolts in that back there so i'm gonna set that off to the side with all these headers and such uh i don't remember what all's left holding this on it's all wedged up in there i already got this most of the way off i forgot to grab the pedal for this tack module so I have to go back and grab that. I already got, I gotta take you off what's holding you on. You're holding the whole harness up. They're bugged and I don't wanna rip you. Can I just take it off from this box? Uh, I can leave it on the alternator or I could just take it off the alternator. I think that's a 10. Shut that off, grab my proper drill bit adapter and I got my 10 millimeter from my video where I take the engine off I actually managed to not lose a single tool which kind of surprised me because I always feel like I end up losing tools at the junk even when I don't mean to eh. and I, for a minute I thought I lost a couple tools but I ended up finding them And some of these bolts I'm gonna put right back where they go because otherwise I'll forget where they go. All right, so that's that bracket there. I gotta undo this. Cool. I have to get a new one or whatever the fuck that is because that's broken. Uh, we're caught up on this oil feed line by the looks of it. Whatever the hell that is. Oh, okay, here comes that. That is the chassis ground by the looks of it uh i don't know what size that is but that's holding that on going over to there uh shoot oh, i'm getting those off i hope oil does not come flowing i'm gonna grab my old drip pan over here because I know this engine is going to drip some oil. That's why I got it. Oh. Yep, sure enough. How did I know that would do that? Let's see what's on it. What's holding it on? Oh, just like a plastic clip thing. Maybe? Maybe more than a plastic clip thing? Is it bolted on? I mean, it sure isn't helping. Okay, this is in the way. You don't see me put a boss up there. I know. Stuff like this fuel rail will come right off. I 
I have absolutely fucking no clue what some of this shit does. Like, I have, I think it's a PCV valve? I think. Or, uh, I'm not sure. This one's already got the EGR delete. I have no clue what that's to. I know this is to the steam port down here that ended up getting cut. But, it's a learning experience. Let me see. Uh, I think the engine mounts are 15s. Let me double check the camera angle. Where's my phone? I wanna make sure you guys can see all this. see if these fit right which I believe they do but I'm gonna have to get my extender all right so it is a 15 all right I'm gonna have to get my extender though unfortunately let's see no it comes right out Rust and dust and dirt and grime going everywhere. Yeah, you can see I'm glad I got that uh, oil pan right there. Sorry, I'm, this is the first time I'm ever doing this. I have no clue if what you guys can see what I'm looking at or not. There's an engine mount. So, <laughs> anyone need a 03 Explorer engine mount? Not Explorer, Escalade. This is just a parts pile. I have no clue what I'm doing with all that stuff yet. Some of it's gonna go back on the engine, some of it's not. This gets go back on there. Okay, what's holding? Oh, it's bolted on right there. And it looks like a 15. Let me grab my light. I love having a light like this because it just, you know, closest metal object right there. And of course, that's a 13. You're gonna see me swapping between these sockets a bunch. It's like 90 degrees in here, even with the fan on. And I just checked the AC in here and it's not working. And the fan kicks on, but it doesn't get cold. So, looks like I'm going the summer without AC, at least for the next couple weeks. Let me see, 13's right here. It's a Duralast 13, because I, I lost the socket at one point. Whatever. I used to work out AutoZone. Carried there as he used to, so. If y'all ever want to hear crazy stories from working there, I got quite a few. I worked there for just over a year. Here we go. Okay, come on. Come on. All right, I'm gonna just. Ah, nah. A 13 mil. I don't think I'll lose it. Let me just double check that those are all kind of sort of empty. This is the oil cooler center feed line. Uh, they make it an adapter I'm gonna get. Basically it adapts from this block to here for an fitting so I can just run whatever kind of uh, I can run whatever kind of hell oil cooler I want. So right now, I'm mainly trying to get this uh, electrical harness off. That looks like a 13 inch too. It is. I also make notes to myself. All right, so this is just the ground cable. Noted. Nothing special. And this looks like ground for something else. I'm not sure what. But. We're gonna come over here. I can shut that off now. I don't need it. I'm gonna put it back on the charger. This hood strap is terribly uncomfortable. Ugh. 
let's see what's hooked up over here. So grab my light. It just it helps me be able to see what the hell you're looking at. I got a connector over here. Connector. Some sort of connector over here. I got whatever this is tied into. Pull that off. I can just take that all the way off. Or is my drill? <laughs> and watch, this is gonna be like a 10. Yep. So let me go grab my 10. I'm telling you, you get a workout just walking around. I grab my 10. And of course, I touch my nose, which means I got dirt on my face. Yep. Yep. More bolts to add to the collection. Once I get the harness off, I'm gonna stop and get all the bolts. Put where they go. I grab. Oh, I think my little flathead. Flathead. And just pry and try and get it to come off. I think that's an oil level sensor. I'm not using this pan because this pan is. Actually, I might end up using this pan. I do have a truck pan that fits everything, but the Nissan 720 I want to put this in, which is what I'm trying to get my hands on right now does not I don't know where everything lines up yet so we'll see and play it by ear I'd like to use this pan if possible you know the cheaper the better but everything within reason no point buying a new one if you don't need it but at the same time if oh come on what's holding you in there's no bolts I don't see no bolts. I do see a bolt right there. Okay. There's that. So now the only thing holding this entire harness on is this bolt right here that looks like a 15. So come over into this drawer. Find my 15. 16, 14, 12. 25, 15, chrome vanadium, chrome vanadium, or however the hell you want to pronounce it. Is it, was it right? Yes, I was. Okay. I hate that, getting them loose. But once you get it loose, oh. once it's loose, you're ready to rock and roll. Come on. Once I got this off, I can take this entire fucking harness off. Yeah, I curse a lot. My father's a sailor, can you tell? <laughs> uh, only thing that would really suck is if this, you have to take the flywheel pulley off. Not the flywheel, the uh, power steering pump pulley. What's nice, I even have the Hydro Boost line fitting already built right in. So I don't have to put one in this pump. I definitely plan on trying to use it, but fucking who knows. I'll see if I can get like a silver auto steering rack to fit in the truck maybe, make my life a lot easier. And then I don't like vacuum boost, I prefer hydro boost. So if I can get a hydro boost off a, a GM truck that'll work, that's even better. And there, minus the fucking how the fuck did that happen fuck is that guy bent uh, there is a stock truck harness got all these bolts uh, clean up as you go 75% of the work will be done in the first 25 minutes or whatever those are motor mount bolts. Those are side mount bolt stuff. All right, I wanna get this side off.
Oh, okay, big boy time. Oh, the one on the charger right here. Got one on the charger right here. And I got my adapter right here. And I'm also gonna grab this because just make my life a little easier getting this off. There's motor mount number two. Motor mount could go over there. The other one. This is the far right there. Alright, so I'm trying to get somewhere. This bolt can come off. Let's stay. I did take this off, but it put back on for some of the photos. As you can see, the oil is super black. So, yeah, that's a plus. Ugh. Put them over there with all the rest of its friends. Alright, I'll grab another I'll rag wipe my gloves off real quick. I just try to keep it so they're not super duper greasy. So I can still grab stuff. Sweating like a pig, because it's Florida. And it's a million fucking degrees. And now I gotta need an eight goddamn millimeter. So I'm almost positive that's the size of what those bolts are. I'll grab you. Oh, let's set you back on there because I don't wanna lose it. Now I'm gonna take the intake off. Now this intake's only kind of like faux pas put back on. That way they, so they wouldn't, you know, yell at me in the junkyard. Oh really, it's not. Oh, it probably helps if I put the thing on the drill. Some of these are, I think like I put four, two in on each side. That way they would, you know, let me take the intake with the engine instead of charging me separately. It's like, it goes in a field of some crap. I'm gonna give it the old uh, garage bay wash down. I got some purple power and shit to wash it with. Let's see. The gasket's looking pretty good shape, to be honest. Everything's nice and clean. About what you'd expect for an intake of like this. Oops. This would be the broken fuel pressure regulator line. Blackstone Lyle's kit. Let's take a look. We've got whatever these fuckers are that I honestly don't, couldn't tell you. I think they're knock sensors, don't quote me. I'm just gonna leave them on like that. What do we got here? Some sort of like red shit. Sticky too. Like a jelly almost but it's like hard I'm not sure you got dirt and shit I, you know typical LS junk two port steam kit so the two ports are blocked off I might get a four port just for shits and giggles but honestly probably don't need it Let's see if we can get a good look at the valves down in there I don't know if you guys can see it but typical Corrosion. There's a clip or something on in that one. Let me grab my pick. It's not metal. I almost need a pair of pliers. Oh, 
I'm pretty sure it just fell in there when I had the intake off in the junkyard. Yeah, it's just a plastic clip. It's an injector clip. It's an injector clip that fell off. But, yeah, that one's got a bolt down in it that fell off into it. So, I'm going to pull these heads off. I don't think I'm going to use these 317 heads. I think what I'm going to end up using is 862s just because it ups the compression ratio from like a 10.1 to like 11.2. Because you drop like 10 cc's per head. Uh, where's my magnet on a stick? There it is. Let's see. No, this engine hasn't run with that in there. It was just in there. Honestly, it looks like one of the motor mount bolts. Not too concerned about it. That one's clean. It's got a leaf down in it. Fucking just a bunch of junk. A bunch of junk. I'll flip these heads over and blow them all out. Man, that's an awful lot of fucking leaves and dirt and shit in each one of these valves. Hmm. They're opening. They're actuating. If I spin it over, you'll see a move. So... Steam kit, steam port kit that I cut off that I'll have to replumb in. But that's that part. Wow. I can really, I forgot that's all aluminum up there. So, uh, let's keep on tearing. I don't know what's eight and what's 10 up here, so I'm gonna grab my 10 from down here and we're just gonna keep on ripping. I think these are eights. Nope, they're tens. Yep. Tens. Tens of tens of tens. Don't make me get my deep well. Fuck it, I'm getting my deep well. I believe this one's ten. Harbor Freight is your friend on these. Oh. Okay. I don't know why GM loves that. They, they do this all the time where it's like a stud with a bolt on it and they use that as just a bolt. So there's all of those. there setting you there Let's set y'all over here and those are eights go fucking figure those are eights ah, good place to mount this Again, I don't know what that is. I think that's knock sensors, but don't quote me. Actually, let me get the... Here, I'll shut this light off for the minute being. Let me get these other coil packs off. That one's already missing one. As if this has been off before. I don't fucking matter. I mean, as long as it's on there enough to it don't matter if they're all the same they're both the exact same let me just set all the bolts for them right there i try to keep them together so i can kind of put them back all where they go and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab my hose and blow this all off because it's filthy. This is garbage. I'm not gonna reuse these. They're I trashed half of them. It's 20 bucks. And I know 20 bucks adds up after a while, but I'm not too concerned about it. As you can tell. I don't think it's gonna 
make or break me. It's not gonna make or break me. Oh, I need to stop bumping into that bumper. It's freshly fucking painted. And I need to open that up. That PVC fitting's starting to go. I should probably fix that at some point. It's like half out. That's what I mainly wanted to do. Alright, now let's grab our 8mm. I'm gonna be so goddamn pissed off if that compressor kicks on at some point. I shouldn't. It's it was almost full. Ooh. Pretty, pretty clean. If I do say so myself. Pretty, pretty clean. Here's some oil. I don't see no sludge. Everything looks like it should. Can't complain. Can't complain. And before I'm done here, I'm not fully tearing super far deep into these this engine right now. I just kind of wanted to get it off. I might pull the heads here. I want to get all the accessory drive off, belts off. Check this side. Get the oil out of it, get it to start draining. Turn this on. This one looks just as good. Like, can't complain. Looks totally fine. I mean, obviously, it's going to look like a 30,000-mile truck motor. 108,000-mile truck motor, because that's what I think it is. Not completely sure, but everything looks fine and dandy to me. Aluminum alloy, 380. These are 317 heads. Can't complain. So next up... Uh, I think I'm gonna start tackling this bitch. That looks like a that had a 15 still. I set those. I took those sockets off and set them somewhere. Dumb and stupid, because I am dumb and stupid. Where did I set them? I took them off and I set them somewhere and now I don't fucking remember where I set them. And I guarantee you you'll be able to look back in the footage and see that I put them somewhere stupid. Cause that's how I operate. I'm a high functioning fucking idiot. A retard if you would. Uh oh, that's 2020, can't say that. Get in trouble. Sorry, I'm just, I have no tolerance for idiots. Uh, where the? Fuck did I? Yeah, like myself. I just called myself an idiot and said I don't have any tolerance for idiots. I'm dumb. I need to shut the fuck up. I didn't put them in my pockets. No. Didn't set them over here. No. Cause I did, and I'm just blind. Did I set them over here? With you, like they're under there. 
No. Is there over here? No. Did I take them off? I don't see them in any of the valves. You know, because I'm dumb and then by the takeoff. There's one. There's a ten. There's a ten. There's an eight. Where's my fifteen and such? That's a very valid question. It's on the floor here, or I left it, or is it the thirteen? That's the thirteen. The fifteen's on this. I told you it's a fifteen. Okay, from now on I'm gonna set my tools over here. Tools that I'm using, and I got a you know a toolbox over there. I need you. Let's take this belt off. I also need one, three. It's pretty far. That one's kind of like my quick go-to one because I use this one most. I've got a half inch too, but I don't really ever have any use for it. Pop it off there. Alrighty. And all the belts is off. Let's take a look at this thing. It's actually not in terrible shape. It's a little dry rotted. Definitely don't want to reuse it, but it's not in terrible shape. I will say that. Sit on the spare parts thingy. I have no actual fucking clue how the fuck I'm supposed to get that off uh yeah <laughs> oh so, so play. I'm trying to remove as much as I can here before I go I don't know what the fuck I'm doing and there aren't any bolts on those I'm pretty sure Come to death. Is there another one that I don't know about, or is it just stuck in there? I think it's just stuck in there. Wait, I don't even need to take that apart, do I? I don't think so. I think actually, I was gonna be smart about this. What I would do? All right, so that's in there. I think. These three right here hold this whole bracket on. Got an extension. I do have half inch extensions on girl. I even take an attempt, a crack at taking the, uh, the broken studs off. So let's see if that's what holds this whole. I think that whole thing just popped loose. Unless there's one more that I don't know about. See, I don't think so. Oh, whole thing's starting to come. That's, uh... <sighs> this isn't gonna end well, so I'm just gonna put my knee. <laughs> It drain off into the drip pan. That's what I got that for. 
Look at all the fucking caked up gunk on it. Ooh, buddy. I mean, let me just grab a flathead screwdriver and show you how much grease is just on this thing. It, it, it definitely had an oil leak somewhere. I mean, I get it to 2003, but holy. I mean, just look at that. This thing's gonna get a scrubbing and a power wash. I might throw it up in the bed of my dad's truck and take it over to the local wash place to spray it off. But I got a scrub brush and purple power I'm gonna use first on it and a hose. All right, well, I guess that gives me access to all these tens. Let's see, they got the ones around there. Looks like that stays on the water pump. I don't see any under there. I see one in the middle right there, but I don't see any others in that. I think the whole water pump. Wow, these accessories come off fairly easily. So let me grab my uh, trusty long socket 10 mil, just to give me that extra reach. And we'll start unzipping these. And I need the adapter. That's still on this one. This whole fan assembly and bullshit will come right off. Probably dump water everywhere. And I have to, I'll get my knuckle. I know there's still water in this bitch. Let's walk over here. It's just water, it's rusty water. I know because I, I took a look at it in the junkyard. There's no antifreeze in this thing anymore. Oh, rusty, rusty water. I might replace this water pump altogether. But, hey, if it works, it works. Water pump bolts. Ooh. Uh, it's not a very hard process, I've learned. So, next, we got this bitch. Oh, that core is dry rotted. Hoo hoo wee buddy. Let me see. Three eighths of a breaker bar. That one's garbage. All right. There's some play in that. AC compressor feels good though, otherwise. Hi, kitty. There's stray cats around here. I'm not sweating it. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do with this motor is I think I'm gonna end up doing a you know, your standard sloppy stage two cam with the uh, uh, pack 1812, I believe there. This guy got some W40 on that. Yeah, pin that holds stuff out gets jammed on this. I've already got a turbo lined up to pick up for it. Oh. I got a deal on it too for like 130 bucks. And there it comes. All right. The bolts on the 
holes that they came from. Okay, I see only. Oh, I have no clue. Then all these are mixed up. Oh, well, that's what it. I'll figure it out when it comes time. That's pretty cool. They built the AC mount into the fucking bullshit. Oh my god, the grease is bad here too. Where's my screwdriver? Look at this. Oh. 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 It's. She's a greasy bitch. She is a greasy motherfucker. And that's what I like to see because it means it got a lot of life out of it. I mean. To an extent, you don't want to see so much grease. You think it's got, it's had a bad leak all its life, but you can tell it's never been really fucked with. It's a clean LQ9 motor. Alrighty, so I think the next step is first going to be me to drain the oil out and get a sample. Let me get that out of the way. I get a lot of this stuff out of the way. All these bolts can come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. I got bags and stuff I'll label and put everything in. I'm kind of keeping an idea of which spots which. Oh, right there. Grab you. Are you finally done leaking? I think you are. But I'm going to set you upright. No, you're not done leaking. So, note to self, I'm going to set you upright like this. So, hopefully, you don't leak anymore. I've now got a trail of. Power steering fluid on the floor. And that stuff gets slick quick. Probably should have done this outside in hindsight, but it's a shop. It's meant to get dirty. I'm not too cool. worried about it. Set these two used oil filters off to the side. I'm going to keep that lid in it because I want to see how it turns out. Okay. Where is our oil train? Oh. Well, ain't that nice. I found the bolt for changing the oil. And when you believe it, it's like right in the worst spot. So I'm gonna set this here. Shit. Fuck. This is gonna make things difficult. I've got a funnel I can use. That's not my problem. My problem is getting the oil pan into a good position because that bar is right there. Let me see. Okay, so let's take this pin out. Ugh. God, this is a heavy bitch. And there's like no spots to grab onto. Okay, I think it's tight enough there where I can take it off without it being an issue. That looks like a Fort 15. So it should be what's on here already. Yep. Let me get the funnel real quick. Let me grab my test kit or drink. I said it's fucking hot in here. It's all getting late. I don't think this video is going to be too much longer. But if you didn't know what Blackstone is, you send them a sample of their oil and they're able to examine it and just give you a general idea what the health of the engine is like. It's not necessary whatsoever in the slightest. Honest to God, I don't need it. But I've always wanted to check it out and test it. 
So I figured why the hell fucking not. I always wanted to try them out, so. Probably a 13 then. I got all that position ready just for it to do that. This is as janky as it can get, so pardon me. It's a 14. That's the first. The first 14 bolt that's bit on this bitch. Watch, it's a fucking American. Watch, it's not even a metric, it's it's something imperial. Oh, is it just stripped, maybe? I mean, I'll get my fucking hammer and tap that bitch on. No, 15's way too fucking small. 14 seems about right, but... Self. Whoever did the fucking oil change in this last fucked this bolt up. And I will not be reusing it. Luckily for me, I've got a solution. See what we could purchase. And watch, I'm gonna need this one. Yeah, probably gonna need that one. really gonna fucking suck because that bolt's pretty stuck in there. See, I've used this once before. I'll grab my pulse. That bolt is fucked up anyways. I'll see if I can just get... Nope. Let me see if I can get either of these to work. Nope. Too big. I guarantee you the 13 is going to be too small. Yep, I gotta get the 14 off. Ah, that's not something I wanted to do right this moment. So, I'm gonna get this bolt out and come back to you when I do. Get it. Alright, so let me double check that's the recording. Alright, so, uh, I'm back. Put a new set of gloves on. Uh, about I stopped recording about five minutes ago. What I did, I took my torch and my hammer, took it to this bad boy. This is called a cutting socket. So if you look real closely, there's little teeth in there and it cuts into the socket so you could take it off. And that was a bolt from the piece of shit Ford Focus over there that uh, I think we're gonna end up scrapping. It's not my car, I don't really care. But the important thing is I needed that stripping socket because this is the same size bolt as that bolt Basically what you do is you hammer them on. I'm gonna grab my hammer. 
So I'm gonna strip that out. And again, of course I won't be reusing this. So hammer it on real nice and snug. And of course, it looks pretty on. Could use a little bit more. I will turn that down. Then we take this. Ta da! Now it's coming off. All right, so let's get reset up as this starts to drip oil. I've got my plastic cup here. I've got my funnel right here. And of course, there is little bits of oil and metal. I'm just gonna look at it as it comes out. It's probably not the best, there's little flakes of aluminum in there. Let me uh, grab a rag and wipe all that aluminum flake out because I want to be able to tell if there is anything in here that's you new, know, not supposed to, not supposed to be. And of course, you got flakes of aluminum from where I had this sitting. You're not gonna be able to tell. So if there's a couple small flakes and it doesn't look like there's a whole lot in the oil, I'm not gonna freak out. But the main thing I'm looking for is to make sure it isn't like, oh hey, you know, a stripper had a party in here. It's kind of just stripper glitter. It looks like World War went down or some bullshit. So, let the fun begin. It's supposed to drain out of oil, but obviously they didn't. But this oil's nice and clean. Here's our little sample cup. Put fill it. But the oil itself looks pretty pretty good. I'm gonna open the drain valve for it. But I don't see anything. It's nice and black. I can't, I honestly can't complain. That looks exactly like how I want it to look. There isn't any contaminant or anything in it. Nothing I don't want to, where'd my light go? Yeah, it looks just how I want it to look like. Nice and black, I don't see anything in it. I'm honestly not that concerned. I mean, you, there's nothing in it. There, there's nothing in it. couple little chunks here but that might just be dirt from my floor all right so this thing's starting to get heavy so I'm gonna slide it up under here and do something risky I'm gonna push the motor over oh shit I don't want to lose it like that okay all right 
Let's go on your waist. Oh, here, where's that bolt? Where's my bolt? into there that's the first time I've ever done something like that well not like that but for my first junkyard motor that nice and black and dirty oil I'm super fucking happy with it I'm just letting it drain out at this point but I don't envision I'll have to use that 14 this is like the only 14 mil bolt on this engine and go figure it's got a fucking it's just go figure it's just you know all shredded up and fucked up <laughs> uh, my life never ends alright I think that's just about all this motor's got so I'm just gonna Tighten this up, and honestly, I'm gonna leave that bolt in there with that thing on there until I get something to replace it. For $28, you can get what's called a, a uh... oh, all right. So there's one piece. Let me grab my uh, oil filter removal tool. Let me grab this. This is easy though, I could just slide it right there, right under it, grab it. And then the left of loose of this bitch. That's not even the tight setting either. Okay, why are you not wanting to stay tight? Fine. Fuck you. I don't care. So oil filter's garbage anyways. But I think my oil filter wrench is giving up the ghost. Which sucks. Because this is a nice wrench. Ugh. Ugh. Wow, they got this bitch on there. Oh, probably helps if I uh, turn it the right direction, too. I was twisting. I'm dumb. Earlier than a sack of hammers. I'm really dumb. Holy shit. I was tightening that whole time. I was like, why the fuck is this oil filter taking so much effort to get off? Well, that's why. Remember, kids, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Normally, I'm doing this upside down. So my dumbass was just like, her it her. <laughs> Tighten instead of loosen. What? Watch. <sighs> yep, now it's going to come right off. That could have been bad. That could have been really bad. Oh, no, I'm like that there. Look at that. Let me grab my uh, filter cover from over there. Oh, my father's gonna kill me with how dirty I got this shop right now. Luckily, I've got all day tomorrow to clean it. But I just wanna get an overall final look at the oil. It's clean. It's, it's clean, clean. Get a rag. Wipe my hands off. Uh, and I think, honestly, 
that's about all I want to do this video. I'm going to put the valve covers back on just so dirt can't get in there. But I got everything else off that I wanted to get off. So I can plug these holes. You know, all the intake holes. And I can pressure wash this thing. And then after I pressure wash it, I'll take the heads off and all that. Push that shut. But yeah. That is about that. So, I think, actually, I believe I bought the wrong filter. For, I bought the filter for a Ford. I mean, one of these engines for my van. Let's see, is it the same S33? That's a 3.5. Let's see if it'll fit. I just want to put something on here. So, there's no water getting up in there. I'm gonna slide this bitch back on. Just for the minute being, eh, nah. I could tape that off. The main thing is I'm coming through here with purple power and scrubbing all this down. Stick paper towels in here. Stick paper towels in there. Yeah, no. Junkyard LQ9 teardown is complete. At least as complete as it's gonna be for the minute being. I just wanted to get to a point where I can, you know, get to all the nooks and crannies, get, get to all the crevices. I wanted to take a look at the oil. So, yeah, that's all it's gonna be for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this POV and uh, take it easy. <laughs>